What's up guys, it hurts back again with another video here on Boku TV and today it's really an interesting episode because we're going to look into what Boku Rap. Yes, we've been hearing the term Boku Rap again and again from various artists, various people in the Cameroon hip hop scene but have you ever wondered what really is Boku Rap? Let's get to it. So. Well, we cannot talk about Mboko rap without, you know, trying to find the meaning behind the word Mboko itself because it's literally in the name Mboko rap and since we know rap, then what's Mboko? Well, Mboko can be directly translated to street life or a hard knock life, you know, a struggling life growing up or trying to get to where you're going to. This can be seen in words like Nangboko or Nangaboko. The Nangboko is literally sleeping outside your house. You know, you could be in a club, you could be in a bar, or you could just be, I mean, not sleep within your premises. That's Nangboko. So if you tell someone, I will Nangboko today or I Nangboko yesterday, it's almost like saying he didn't sleep at home yesterday. A Nangaboko, on the other hand, is someone who is used to sleep it's a street person a homeless guy usually who is used to sleeping outside frequently so that's a nangaboko so it's it's someone who is just nangbokoing all the time <laughs> so to say so i say i say street life but it's really street life in quotes because mboko goes beyond just sleeping outside or or being about that street life it's also like the reality, the struggles of every young Cameroonian, you know, against the system that is not very favorable for for growth compared to other countries. So if you're struggling, if you, if you, for example, struggle through school, you know, suffer, suffer, you know, do everything. And then later on, you're running a call box. Well, that's the hard knock life. That's a boko life. If you if you saw granite as a young kid play baby food, go to video clubs, play soccer bare feeted, chop bele bele for lunch. Oh that's that's the struggle. That's Mboko. I think that's Mboko personally. Now let's talk about Mboko rap. I think Mboko rap is simply a reflection of everything I've said above. The street life, the struggle growing up. That's rap Mboko rap is rap that is true to that struggle, true to the daily life of every Cameroonian book rap speaks to the young people you know in the language that they understand and about the things that they've experienced when you listen to book rap you can almost see yourself you can almost laugh at the things you listen to because you've experienced those or you've known someone who has experienced the same now there's a misconception that book rap anybody rapping in PG now is now a book rapper I don't think so because I feel like if I grew up, for example, in the US or whatever, or, I, or I've been in a rich family and I travel to the US and I'm rapping about driving my Bentley in the streets of New York, even if I'm doing that in Pigeon, is that really Mboko rap? I don't think so because the rap is not Mboko. The language might be Mboko, but the rap is not Mboko because there is no struggle. I cannot see myself in someone saying, Hey, I don't just buy my new Bentley now, so I the drive of Eastern New York. Hey, I get money like Chris Mann. Oh, my papa. I don't think that's Mboko rap. Honestly. Maybe, maybe you might say otherwise. Uh, I'm waiting for your opinions down in the comment sections below. On the other hand, there are a lot of Mboko rappers who rap in French or in Franc Anglais. And I think that even if you rap in French or in Franc Anglais, you can still be a Mboko rapper. Because Franc Anglais is the, the truest from form of Cameroon language. It's, a, it's the only 100% Cameroon made language that we have. Because mind you, even Pidgin English was a language that was introduced by colonial masters to easily communicate with chiefs. A mixture of almost a broken down version of English and a mixture of English and local languages. It's not really true, as true as Frank Anglais, which was something that has been developed by Cameroonians themselves. 
right? So and so, for example, when someone like Nernos, I don't know if you know who this guy Nernos, he has a song from Superma Bobo, and he says something like "Stortikolo poen shawama, seke dans la tête ça va pas." That's book rap to me, because not only is it in Frank Anglais, even Frank Pigeon, because when he says "Sotin kolo poen shawama," that's not even "kolo" is not even an English word. So it's almost like French and Pigeon mixed together. I know the struggle of when Shawarma was popping, and I really found it really difficult for me to buy a single, a single Shawarma for a thousand francs. Like this thing's too expensive, guy. That's Boko. I can see myself in that. Also, we also keep in mind that people like Jovi and uh, Stan Leno, especially in his beginnings, who elevated the Boko rap game or who elevated the Boko rap style, both rap in Frank Anglais both rap in French and Pigeon. So that's to if these people who are pioneers and also uh, people who are who made who contributed to what Boko rap is today also rap in Frank Anglais. Why should Frank Anglais or French rappers that are really rapping about that street life, that Cameroonian struggle not be considered as Boko rappers? So in conclusion, I would say Boko rap is a rap style that reflects the reality of every young struggling Cameroonian. And you can be seen uh, and that this can be seen in the lyrics of video and this is also a rap style that promotes the spirit of never give, giving up, a spirit of being true to yourself because Boko rap in essence is to inspire you to work hard and never give up to make you understand or see yourself through every lyrics and every bar that even if you've gone through the struggles of life even if you've gone through that boko life that hard knock life you should never give up and that there is the light at the end of the tunnel what's boko rap to you tell me down in the comment sections below tell me if you agree or disagree with my definition of boko rap like like share subscribe and as always Thanks for watching. This was Eddie Hertz from Boko TV. Bye.